Using the gadget features is a great way to add pre-formatted content to your website. When you're in the editing mode, you simply go to Insert, and you can select from any of the existing gadgets, or you can select more gadgets. For example, if you would like to add a group, you simply add the group gadget. Here, you'll add the URL to the actual group that you'd like to work with or that you would like to add or embed, and then give it a name, and then preview the gadget. I'm going to copy the URL from the desired group, and in this example I'm using Getting Googly, and I'm going to paste it in the URL spot. Now you have a couple of options that you may options that you can uh, explore. You can incorporate a search box, show a link to a pop-up and uh, let it pop out into a, a new window and you can also add a transparent background if you'd like. You have a few choices with the display. You can set the number of pixels to a certain width or you can make the width based on a certain percentage of the actual website. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this at 600 pixels. I'm going to include a scroll bar and I will call this the getting googly group. And I'll preview it to see what it looks like. Very nice. It has a scroll bar. Basic information remains static at the top and you can scroll to look at it. I'm going to select OK here. And there's my gadget. Now, just like with the other gadgets, you can take and make adjustments by simply clicking on the gear button. You can also determine whether or not you want it to be centered or justify to the left or to the right. And if you want to get rid of it, you can always remove it. Now let's go ahead and save it and see what it looks like. Not bad.